right, guys. Uh, topic number four is um, all about uh, going back to CinemaCon. Um, it's all about um, Sony's slate of movies. And um, another movie that is uh, coming off, off their slate is the George uh, Foreman biopic. And it ain't um, just about the grill, for those that don't know him as a boxer. <laughs> yeah? We've yeah, all got the George yeah. Foreman grill was, somewhere. Uh, Do you know what I mean? He was, he was, uh, he is an all-time great, to he be honest all with you. Great, yeah. Uh, he had two careers, uh, to be honest with you. Mm. Um, but mine is not uploading for some reason, so... I'll bring you, up, don't worry, people. Can you help me out? Well, when you say he had two careers, what do you mean? Well, I mean, what I mean by that is, shortly after he got beat by Muhammad Ali... Yeah. Um, he had, I think, one or two more fights and then he retired. Mm. Then, then he, he came back that. 10 years later. Mm. So it was sort of like another career. And, still like won another, the title when and he, he still came back and won the title. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So uh, this comes to us via deadline. And it says, uh, Sony wrapped its presentation with footage from George Foreman, showing him as an angry youth turned into a world-class fighter and the world heavyweight champion. The pick comes out in on April 7th next year, Easter weekend. Mm. George Foreman himself appeared via video and closed out the night and Sony's presentation, saying, it took me a lot of time until I was ready to tell my story on the big screen. But with George Tillman at the helm, I knew it was, it, I knew it was going to be good. And when you get knocked down, you get back up again, both in life and in the ring. It's an opportunity to tell his story for younger generations who know the epic fighter for his George Foreman lean, mean, fat reducing grilling machine. I've still got one. Uh, I need to get one actually. Yeah, um, and electric grill he promotes. Sony Pictures Entertainment chairman Tim Rothman emphasized just prior to the footage, we very much do not believe the common wisdom that the future is only superheroes and sequels. We believe in films that reflect diversity of all kinds from diverse talent to subject matter with a strong belief in originality. If in those last eight months we, sh we show the theatrical window is alive, during the coming months we will also show that new and original stories can also work. Right. Uh, let me go first on this one. Well, I know. George Foreman wasn't a guy that I got into until his second stage as a boxer when he came back uh 10 years after um because i never like he was he was a tyson type but even more surly when he was uh in his prime mm, mm. you know when he just before he fought ali mm. um he was very like a lot of guys I've, I've read that um or i've seen documentaries where a lot of journalists at the time were genuinely nervous around him because they thought he was going to hit them mm. like and if he hits you you're done mm. <laughs> that's the, this guy's got i mean we talk about deontay wilder having scary power that's he's another guy yeah. that, that had scared and and the, the thing that scared most about foreman was that he always he was he wasn't a fast puncher he was a slow puncher mm. so yes mm. you could see those punches coming but even with that, if those punches do connect, yeah. good night. Good night. Good and night. And he didn't hold back. He put pressure on Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah, 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 yeah. so he, he, he did not hold back. He wanted to hurt you. He, want, he yeah. wanted, in his, sec, in his first part, he wanted to kill you in the mm. ring. He, he pretty much admits that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you should see him when he's going, this first fight, especially when he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe Joe Frazier. Mm. Joe Frazier is an all-time great, mm. and he's giving it to him. Mm. He, I mean, he knocked him out in the second round. Mm. Joel Frazier, you know, yeah, for a guy that Ali couldn't knock out, yeah, mm. yeah, you know, he knocked him out. That's so why I remember people saying they were, they were scared for Ali to fight for him. They like, were genuinely scared, mm. genuinely. They thought Ali was going to die in that round. Yeah, so that's why it's that fight is so famed. The Rumble yeah. in the jungle, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and 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 you know, to George Foreman's credit, he can claim, even though he lost that fight, mm. to be part of history. Yeah, that that fight was. Even the whole build up to that fight was history and mm. history. Yeah. It was making. iconic. Yeah. Um, for them getting the money off Mobutu. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Don King doing his whole. That was the. Because Don was, King. Yeah, that, that was the fight that made Don King. Yeah. Mm. Because he, he hustled. Holy America. Yeah. He hustled Jesus. that money off of Mobutu. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it was just crazy. But. George Foreman's story, because I know I know George Foreman's story quite well. Right. He was one of these guys who grew up in a, in in obviously racist America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he didn't do well in school. He was just an angry mm. youth. 
hundred mm. percent. Just and an you, angry you. You two yeah. dealt with kids like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was beating up everyone. He was getting chucked out of school and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And basically, they said, join this boxing club, or you're going to the army. Oh, and which means you're you're going to be put in front line. You're going to die. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So he joined the boxing club, and that saved his life. And he credits that the guy who um, took him to the boxing club and. Mm. Bought him on. He credits that guy saving his life. Okay. Mm. Um, well, Tyson because, was kind of felt the same way. He was like, he yeah. was getting too much trouble. Was like, he's either that way. Yeah, him. yeah. Um, and and then from then on, you know, it was all about boxing with him, and it literally did save his life. But he still had that chip on his shoulder, mm. and this is why he fought As the he way might. he had. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And this is why he fought the way he did um in in his first run anyway mm. and but that loss to Muhammad Ali really humbled him mm. because he only fought i think once or twice after that it, including the barn burner with Ron Lyle remember i was told you about that fight mm. that was a fight where Ron Lyle was a great as well yeah. and they knocked each other down a, a total of 7 times <laughs> that was, that Back was, in the day when more than three knockdowns was done, but right. no, no, but this this was the golden era of heavyweights. You know what I mean? Like you know, rounds yeah, and, yeah. And, and you had guys who were just going to fight each other. Didn't this care. is why the slowness and their head injuries, yeah, really mm, took yeah. their toll in the end. And, and mm. this is why Foreman should count himself very lucky because well, he did most Still of the yeah. yeah, he did most um, of the beating. That's why. Yeah, and then obviously, that, like I said, that loss hurt him a lot. And he, he he retired, became a pastor. Mm. Um, then he came back and came back out of shape. You know, mm. fat, wasn't as muscular as he used to be. Yeah. But he was still very effectual. Why? Because he had that punch power. And the one thing I can tell you as a fighter is you never lose that punch power. <laughs> your, your speed can go, your reflexes, your, you know. Yeah. But, but how you, hard you hit. That never mm. goes. Yeah. That's, that stays with you. That's like Ruiz. Mm. Yeah. As yeah, Tyson, even as Tyson just proved Tyson, recently on the plane. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah, at some point we're going to have to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I just think it's it's such a success story. And you saw him more humble this time. I think life humbled him. Mm, that happens yeah. with a lot of us. You yeah, know? yeah, you need Sometimes to. you need life to humble yeah, you. You need to be mm. put on your ass. Um, yeah, <laughs> and for you to understand that yeah, you can't be going on like how you were going on yeah. before. Well, don't you know? over around you. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And, um, and you know, he challenged, I remember he challenged, he did really well against Holyfield mm. um, for the heavyweight world title. Um, but in the end, he fought uh, Michael Mora, was getting spanked. But then Michael Mora decided to trade with him. <laughs> and that's one thing you don't do with George Foreman. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? I don't care who you are. No. And he just knocked him spark out. That and was the ego. Yeah, that's yeah. that's, that's that, what it was. That, ego took over. Like, yeah, wait, yeah. The minute like, the ego took over, yeah, that's yeah. it. You got yeah. you're gonna get banged. The guy was out before he hit the floor. Yeah. Ha, and, and Michael Moore was a world class heavyweight yeah. at that point. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then obviously he defended it a couple times. And then, uh, yeah, just, so I'm really glad at doing this. Um, he's an all time great. Uh, and I don't think people, people know story. about him. I don't so. think they really... They only know about the grill. They don't, yeah, people don't yeah. really know about his... Mm. But you know the grill. He's got nothing to do with the grill, apart mm. from his name. No, he just mm. put his name on it. Yeah, that was it. He literally put his signature on and, it. And do you know who was ticking it? themselves, who they went to first? Who did they go to first? I think you told me. Hulk Hogan. Idiot. <laughs> the Hulk Hogan grill. Do you know what money you're going to do? He might... He, and he admits he's kicking himself to this day. He admits it. Mm. He admits Let it. Let me just ask this. Why wouldn't you just put your name to it? Right. It's a... It, I just, like, I, I, you I can't... You can't I, they need to make a film about that. What was the reason you turned down you can't the, lose. the grill? I can't lose. You can't mm. lose. You're yeah, going to pay me to put my name on it I, first of all. Right. And then I'm going to get a percentage. Right. right. Mm. So I've got my money mm. and it bombs. Okay. I've got I my money. Exactly. I didn't make that thing. Yeah. So I don't care. Can you imagine the promos? Oh, I the best <laughs> of you know as it just pressed yeah. the yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, what uh, you going to do? Me? <laughs> Bro, that <laughs> smells like money to me. Yeah. And he turned mm. it down. Idiot. 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 George. But we know he's an idiot because he also the racial stuff he yeah. ended up doing. But George yeah. Foreman you know made I mean? more money from the grill from boxing. than he yeah. ever yeah. did in boxing. boxing. Yeah. Mm. And he made money in boxing. Right. Yeah. He made millions right. in boxing. And that's how much money. He's sitting but, there now. Rake it. People are buying. Bro, he can't go yeah, broke. That goose been out for what? 15, 15 years? He, I was going to go and buy one the other day because in yeah. B&M they were, some, they were on sale. Mm. I was going to go and buy one. And there's so many variations of it. There's like 15 variations yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little ones, big ones, like barbecue Bro, ones. Once but you it, put it in your pocket by next week, it's done. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, mo- a lot of people in this day and age would know him just for the grill. But yeah. what they need to understand is he was an all-time great heavyweight boxer, mm-hmm. heavyweight champion. 
Um, and you know when the film comes out, you get people being like, that's the guy on the box that makes burgers. And yeah, no, 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 yeah. this is what he actually did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, yeah, and he was involved in probably, probably the most iconic fight of all time. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I, I've, I've spoken enough. Sorry, guys. Yeah. What do you want to say? <laughs> I've said what I wanted to say. <laughs> I think it's going to be really good. I think it's yeah. going to just, it, it needs to be opened up a bit more and then yeah. people see. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So the Mike Tyson one's coming. Yeah. So if you yeah. notice, they're just gonna go for a couple weeks. Mm, yeah. So yeah, there's a there's a couple boxes yeah. I, I, I want to find out about. Yeah, definitely, mm, definitely. You know I mean, what were your mm. thoughts, bro? I mean, Sony had a good run when they did this with the Ali project because Sony did Ali as well. Oh, so, was it Sony? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Tri -Star. Did you watch Ali? Yeah, uh, yeah I. I, I I liked it, but mm. I thought it could have gone on a bit more. I thought it was going to do the whole story, yeah, it was not just bit. up to a certain point. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I was a bit yeah. deflated oh, yeah. when I watched yeah. that. I would like to see him after the fight, you know, with Foreman, because that, mm. that was like the, the finishing point. I can get why they up to that moment, but I want I would love to see him after that. I would like to have seen when he fought Larry Holmes. When yes. He was, when he yes. was done by Yeah, that Larry yeah. Holmes and what was going on. Right. Yeah. The whole story. Yeah. Mm. That that was very interesting. Yeah. Mm. That, you know, because Larry Holmes was his sparring partner for years. Yeah. Mm. You know? Um, so yeah, yeah, that would have been very interesting. But yeah. yeah. No, but I mean, apart from that, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Tyson one. So this is just another boxing bar pick I'm looking forward to seeing. Mm. He's got so much history. Yeah, you know, do this, do a Manny Pacquiao one, and um, I'd love yeah. to see a Manny Pacquiao. And then one, yeah, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, but yeah, I think the Tyson one's going to be incredible. Tyson one's going to be good. You know why? Because right. Jamie Fox is really going to go to work. Well, he's put on yeah. a hell of a lot of yeah. size. He's, he's really going to. And Tyson is not letting out anything that yeah. is subpar. You know yeah, what he's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, He'd be like, yeah. "This ain't coming yeah, out." Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. care what you spent. Yeah. Yeah. Scorsese's still directing it as well. Is this course he's he doing? Originally it? directing it, yeah. Oh wow! Originally so who's doing it? Now? I don't know if he's still doing it or not. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. But it's going to be great. That's yeah, interesting. Great. Oh, that's going to be good because I know him and Jamie Fox hung out together because there's Jamie. I don't know if you've seen on YouTube, but mm. Jamie Fox was on one of these talk shows talking about how when he was on a comedy stand-up circuit. Mm. Uh, he, he made, made a joke about yeah. Tyson. And then someone said, yeah. someone said, Mike Tyson's in the building. Yeah. And then some woman came out, are you going to make your joke now, Jamie? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then apparently Mike Tyson came out and said, yeah, make, make the joke. Yeah. Yeah. And he made the joke and mm. Mike Tyson was just laughing. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and, and he took him out and he went to his house and yeah. partied with him. I would have been like, I forgot what the joke was. I've lost that part of my repertoire now. So he, 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 I think he knows Tyson quite well, and I think there's there's a, a lot of camaraderie between them, mm. and so Tyson is going to be readily able to. In fact, On yes, I, I do. I do remember Jamie coming out in an interview saying that um, Mike telling him about how no one is around him anymore because he hasn't got no money, mm. and he said, "You know what? We play that, Mike." Yeah. Do you remember that one? I remember that, but yeah. yeah so we played I, I that want, one. I want to see the real mic. I don't yeah. want to see the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, so, so, you, so you guys are right. I, 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 I think we're going to see a different type of film than the Michael Jai White one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the Michael Jai White one did steer into the darker areas of him. It did show the street aspects of him. And it did show the later part where it's questionable about where he was mentally mm, before the end of the film. Mm. But obviously, it only delved into just before he went to prison. Yeah, yeah. So here, we're going to get to see... I'm thinking all of that. Well, he, he's going to want to tell his story. Well, he, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's going to yeah. want to. Yeah. Mm, he's, yeah. He, he's already paid yes. his, you know, his dues. Yeah. He's going to want to tell the story. Yeah. So I want to see the story. 100%. 100%. From Mike's mouth. Yeah. From mm, his yeah. vision. You yeah. know yeah. it's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, we digress. George we digress. Foreman. George Foreman. George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> we keep digressing. I know, I know. we got a lot to say. Yeah. We're talkative. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, George Foreman biopic. Uh, coming out soon. Um, what do you guys think of it? Are you guys excited about that? And let us know if you know anything about George Foreman apart from the grill. <laughs> yeah, apart, leave us a, apart from the grill. Yeah, leave some comments down below and let us know what you think. Okay.